in the 70s and 80s, Nashville was a, uh, a very creative place. Back then, <clears throat> uh, my saxophone player and bass player and the, and the drummer, we could play in a beer tavern and on two nights a week and make as much money as people in the textile mills made all week. We were making 15 to $20 a night. We thought we were doing great, you know. Of course, it hasn't improved a whole lot since the last 50 years, but uh, the, the talent level was so high, so incredible. <clears throat> My name is Larry Garris. Uh, I'm the owner and president of Corner Music Incorporated. We opened in April of 1976. I was working for a uh, company out of North Carolina called Music Distributors who was importing Aria guitars from a guy from Japan named Shira Arai. And I was a rep for them and I covered from Fort Smith, Arkansas to Asheville, North Carolina, Cincinnati to Birmingham. That was my territory. At 28, believe it or not, I got sort of tired of traveling and I decided, uh, I saw all the great music stores, saw all the bad ones, I said, I'll try it. So I sold everything I had and opened the store. That was it. We're in the acoustic room, which is, uh, we added this about a couple months after we were here. We created a wall, took all the fluorescent lights out, uh, closed it off for sound so people can hear better. But another reason we did it is because uh, in Tennessee it gets chilly in the wintertime, the heat comes on, and we can control the humidity in here. This, uh, we have the Gibsons, Eastmans, Takaminis, Alvarez, Gretsch, Breedlove, Epiphone, the Classicals there, and the um, Robert Godin's Canadian guitars up there front too. Then we have the electric department. Uh, I think the last count we had 400 electric guitars in stock. And we have a, a room that's six inches of rock wool insulation where you can go in and be at 100 decibels. And then we have the bass department. We have a lot of great basses. Uh, we do uh, Roger Sadowski's, Jeff Gould's, uh, of course Fender's, uh, a lot of Fender, Yamaha's. It's a big influx now. Everybody likes synthesizers now because there's a whole generation that never heard them. So it's a new sound, something new. We position ourselves as a tool store for working musicians. If it, you know, if you play good, if, if you made money off of it, then that was what you would use. Uh, we weren't into the collectible aspect of it. You know, it gets back to the old Chet Atkins joke when the guy said, said, well, that's a great sounding guitar. And Chet sets it down and says, how does it sound now? You know, <laughs> it's all in the player. So we were a tool store for musicians, what we were. We had great customers, just great customers. And we would listen to them, we would talk to them. We've had, uh, unbelievable amount of talent people came into our store over the years you know one day we had Steve Steve Winwood and uh, Keith Irving was in and Keith said um, boy the store looks great Larry and I told Keith I said we've been real lucky I mean we've just been lucky so I walked away from him and I came back to him and I said Keith things haven't exactly been going too bad for you have they he laughed and said, no. He says, can you, he's deadpan serious. He said, can you believe how lucky I've been? I said, we all been lucky, haven't we? Yeah, so that's a pretty good story, I would say.